this video we're going to continue the uh, differential equation um, uh, thing that we started last time um, so last time we saw how we can do the differential equations analytically and uh, we saw that this is the best way to do the differential equations and sometimes we cannot do this uh, analytical solution so we go to the numerical solution and we saw different types of numerical uh, methods but the one that we talked um, in more details about was the range cotta which um, as you remember it was this equation um, and you calculate the uh, uh, the step by step based on your uh, step length that you uh, define and from this step length you can calculate uh, y uh, from the previous one and go um, so on and so forth till you reach the end of your integration limit um, and uh, to get this you have to calculate the k's k1 k2 k3 and k4 which are calculated from this uh, these um, equations which are function of the the original differential equation um, as you see here and in this case we are going to do the differential equation on excel using um, uh, the range cotta uh, on an example of a tank that's discharging and as you see the tank has uh, diameter d and the liquid height is h and there is another nozzle uh, that has uh, diameter uh, lowercase d and um, the way people cal or we can calculate the uh, uh, change of height by time as it drains is from this differential equation uh, which is dh by dt equals negative r squared multiplied by root 2 gh and this r is the small diameter to the big diameter it's the ratio between them um, so the values we're gonna use is the uh, r equals 0 0.05 which is th this ratio and the height of the tank the initial height is uh, 1 meter and this is gonna be the uh, the initial conditions at time equals 0 the height was 1 second 1 meter and um, the uh, what we want to calculate is the height of the liquid in the tank at um, time equals 0 0.5 seconds and um, uh, we are gonna I mean uh, 30 seconds and we're gonna take the step as 0 0.5 uh, you're free to pick the value of the uh, step height that you want but uh, 0.5 is a reasonable value for me um, so um, the way I, I like to uh, solve these equations uh, is by putting it like this so I put the um, the independent variable it's the, the time now uh, as in this column and then put the four columns for the four k's and the dependent variable which is the h is calculated based on the four values here so it's gonna be um, straightforward I'm gonna um, do these uh, equations in these four uh, cells and then calculate h based on this equation so it's very straightforward and simple uh, so first you have to calculate the next uh, time step or, or, or the, the, the next step based on the step value that you have so it's gonna be the old one plus the step value which is 0.5 and I'm gonna freeze it with the f4 because um, I wanna do this uh, dragging thing so it just calculated once and do the dragging uh, automatically so uh, then calculate k1 uh, which is the uh, oops, it's the same step multiplied by the function which is this it's negative um, r squared which is this r and again put the dollar sign power 2 multiplied by square root of 2 multiplied by g which is 9.81 multiplied by h which is the previous h and close the brackets um, and as you notice this has to have a negative value but as you see this is not negative and this is because the, the there is a square here and excel doesn't understand that negative is outside the square so you have to put these brackets here so it's not squared and the value of the negative doesn't uh, disappear uh, so here here it is uh, it's right now and uh, for the second cell I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take the same formula copy and paste it and just do the edit so the only difference here is that it is x plus h over 2 and y plus k over 2 and in our case we have no dependence on x it's just dependence on y so it's gonna change the f uh, from uh, y to k1 which is this uh, plus uh, I mean y plus k over 2 I'm sorry it is y oops y plus k1 over 2 and that's all for this uh, there is one missing bracket okay and again I'm gonna take the same formula copy and paste 
paste it change it from K1 to K2 and the same thing here uh, but in this case it is for K3 it is um, just K3 uh, for K4 it's just K3 it's not K3 over 2 um, so this is the only difference between these and then finally I'm gonna calculate it from this plus the uh, the summation of this the first K1 plus K2 over 2 plus uh, I mean by 2 plus K3 by 2 plus K4 over 6 and this is gonna be the value for the first cell um, just because I like formatting a lot I'm gonna I'm sorry about that but I, I like formatting so I'm gonna do this here and this here and we'll make these with a different color just to know that they are not uh, the final value so these these are the two variables that we are working with the time and the height and these just are values that we calculate <coughs> I'm sorry. So I did all these calculations based on the values above, and everything should be okay if I drag it. So uh, I'm gonna drag it till I reach uh, 30 seconds. Oops. So this is 30 seconds. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. There's something wrong here. Okay, yeah. I just wanna remove the formatting of these. So this is the solution actually, this is what we want to uh, get out of this um, equation, it's 0.6953821, this is the final height at uh, 30 seconds. Let's say I want to change this um, from 0.5 to let's say, or, or, let, or before this, let's, let's say I want to see how the height will be at 60 seconds, so in order to do this I have to re-drag everything, so I'll get this and drag it 30 more cells, oops. Uh, 30 more cells till I go to 60 seconds, which is gonna be oops. I'm very far away uh, 60 seconds Wow And you see there is something interesting here so you see all these are numbered because they are at some point the tank will be empty and there is no meaning of having the calculations done at like 195 seconds um, so the the differential equation can tell you exactly when the tank will be empty and will no more do any calculations after this so this is the 60 seconds so after 60 seconds I, I mean one minute it's gonna be 0.4459 thing <coughs> so it's kinda hassle to recalculate everything and again let's say you wanna change this so this is the good thing if you wanna change it to 1 everything will be calculated based on 1 and as you see um, everything changed and the values uh, were doubled because we uh, uh, doubled the increment and if you want to make it uh, 0.025 it's gonna work nothing will be uh, there is no problem <coughs> um, so um, this is how we do this with Excel uh, there are two more points I wanna uh, share with you before I um, in this video the first one is um, the question that we were asking last video is the Excel the best way to do the differential equations and the answer is um, no so as you saw here uh, this this equation is pretty simple actually it's very straightforward and simple and you had to do all these things and had to do the dragging and calculate the four K's and if you have any problem with any one of these four equations then the all the whole solution is um, is ruined so I have to make sure that everything is fine so uh, let's see another software that has a built-in uh, built-in module that can do the differentiation or mean the um, the integration uh, more quickly so one thing that I like to use is the MATLAB so MATLAB um, is a very powerful software and I'm not gonna go into deep details but just I'm gonna show you how we can do the differentiation I mean, I mean the integration um, using uh, MATLAB um, the same problem uh, in few seconds so um, this is how you do the differential equation so this is called the uh, the file name you put everything you put the uh, the uh, file name which I'm calling tank and you put the um, 
number of cells you have I mean the uh, the number of differential equations which is one and then you put the givens and write the differential equation so it's pretty simple and straightforward of course it, it has some like weird stuff because they the uh, programming language of MATLAB but this this is how uh, you can do this um, write the write the equation so it's it's very simple and then to get it solved you have to write this so you say that the pro product will be the time and the height and you will go gonna so solve it with ODE45 which is the built-in module that will do the differentiation uh, I mean the integration automatically and it's gonna do the integration to the file or the equations in the file called tank and the range from 0 to 30 and it is uh, the initial height was one uh, meter so it's pretty simple once you press enter everything is solved you'll see here that is the height and the time and um, this is these are the values of the height as you see it's starting from one and ending in 0.6954 let's revise with excel what was the value again let's go to 0.5 and let's see this is 60 uh, 30 was Oh, 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 okay yeah it was 0.6954 almost so it's it's the same value and um, let's say you want to change the step length so instead of so so in this case you are letting him choose the step length that he sees uh, reasonable so in this case if you're gonna go for 0.5 then yeah you're gonna solve it it's uh, it's not a problem um, and the final value it's the same but he did the increment length that you choose so it's very very simple to do this with excel and it's gonna be i mean with matlab it's gonna be faster you're gonna do anything and if it's more complex equation you have no problem and matlab can solve simultaneously like three or four or ten differential equations which is almost uh, impossible using excel <coughs> i'm sorry uh, one last thing uh, to share with you before i end this video is that this equation is actually pretty simple and you can think of uh, and, and this is just for for illustration and you can solve it with uh, an, uh, with a diff a numerical solution and you can solve it with the analytical solution so I'm not gonna go into the mathematical details but uh, this is the differential equation you can split it into uh, the variables into H and T and in this case you can do the integration and here you have what we call last time as the uh, the numerical solution I mean the inter uh, the, the analytical solution that is valid for any values of h1 h2 t1 and t2 you cannot do this with the analytical so uh, with the numerical solution and then you put the uh, values of time 0 height equals 1 then you have equation for h2 versus t2 I did a plot for the values of h2 and t2, uh, and t2 for um, the height and, and time for the analytical and numerical solution and you see they make a really really good fit and this is um, this makes sense because I'm sorry this makes sense because the equation is simple and um, it, it took um, like no time to solve but if it's more complex you'll see um, some deviation between these uh, numerical and analytical values and you will see that as you decrease the increment uh, or the, the step length uh, you, you will find that it is uh, getting more closer to the, uh, the right solution so this is uh, all for this video in the next video I'm gonna show another equation that's function of, uh, uh, of x and y instead of just function of y to give more illustration and do more exercise so uh, see you then bye bye